Hi everyone, this is Rob with your Unity Tutorials and this is the start of a tutorial series that's going to show you all the basics of Unity. Uh, we're going to go through some navigation, uh, creating prefabs, integrating textures into Unity, and uh, just a lot of stuff for game development. Uh, anyone interested in interactive media integration techniques? And we'll even go to some scripting in C Sharp and JavaScript. So we'll get started with some basic navigation and look at the tools of Unity. So in Unity, game objects are basically anything we want to put into our game that will interact with the game space. So we have the 2D object here is the sprite. The three, for 3D objects, we have a variety of 3D geometry we could choose from. We have some lighting, some audio components, some UI stuff which is just user interface. Uh, we have the camera, which, as you can see, all the scenes start off with the main camera. And a lot of that is how you could uh, go from various scenes and different points in scenes to look at different uh, parts of your game. But uh, mainly I want to show you guys how to create an object here. So let's say we want to create a 2D sprite. Now, over here, you'll see that there's a, the sprite renderer and next to each game object component over here when we add a component right there's this little checkbox for the sprite renderer if we would turn that off what that means is that the sprites not gonna render when we play the game so that sprite will still be there and maintain all the functionality throughout the game that we want it to have it's just not gonna appear on the screen so that's kind of how you make something invisible usually for like checkpoints or um or to, to set victory conditions where if the player passes a certain point then they win you would just turn this little box off now it didn't come up for the rigid body here um but there are some other ones that it will come up for and it, and it usually does come up and uh there's a bunch here this you have physics 2d which you could set rigid body 2d's collider 2d's you have physics so physics is mainly for your 3d objects though you can add a 3d collider or a 3D rigid body onto a 2D object. You just can't mix and match. You can't have one regular and one 2D on the same object. So also for navigation, you're able to pan. You can just click on that button up there. Additionally, I believe the middle mouse button pans. So if you hold down the middle mouse button, you're able to pan around in the viewport. This, the one icon we're currently on right now is just the move. So if we have something here, I'll just assign the texture real quick, by the way. If you're assigning a texture, you would just click on this little dot next to it. We'll assign it one of the textures. And now this is the scale tool. So I just want to scale this up really quick. Um, let's see what's going to scale it up. Oh, because we have the spray render turned off, that's why. Okay. So we'll just scale this back down. You want to zoom in or out, that's going to be your middle mouse scroll wheel. So we're just going to scale this down. Okay. So now we've scaled that down. And mainly what I wanted to show you guys is the functionality of these different tools. So move tool, you're just moving an object that you have in your viewport. You have your rotation tool, which this is how we're going to rotate this. So you can tell right now, you see, if I was to click this, that would put me in a 3D mode. Uh, so I pretty much turned off 2D right now, the project settings are 2D. You could also set 3D project settings, or you could just jump back and forth by clicking this little button. So right now, it's only allowing me to view this in a, in a 2D format, though you can see sort of how it's transitioning. But if you want a really clear 3D picture, you would just jump out of that right into here so this is just to rotate things you have your scale so the middle scale is going to be your uniform scale similar to in you know in Photoshop you would hold down the shift button you'd scale uniformly here you would just click and drag that middle icon here is your scale in one direction scale in another direction your whole three dimensions so I believe it's not scaling in the z-axis because we have the default set up for 2D but if the default were set up for 3D, I believe everything would be good. And also it's a sprite. It's a 2D component, so it's only going to scale in the X.